Hey guys, I want to talk about Immanuel Kant, his philosophy, his views and ideas. So I try to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So anyways, let's just get started. So Immanuel Kant, if you, have, if you don't know him, he was an 18th century philosopher who made very big contributions to different fields, including ethics, the study of knowledge, the nature of reality, metaphysics, and so on and so forth, okay? And his ideas changed Western philosophy and gave new ways to think about what we know, what is right and wrong, and what reality is like. And hopefully in this podcast, we will go on to explore some of his key ideas, and I'll try my best to make it very easy to understand, okay? So the first topic I want to target or aim for is the nature of knowledge and one of Kant's most important books if you don't know it is the critique of pure reason and in this book he talks about how we come to know things about the world and Kant said that our understanding comes from both our experiences and our mental processes and he explained that our minds actively actively shape our experiences or as he famously stated or quoted, uh, thoughts without content are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind, end quote, right? And he also uh, goes on to talk about uh, two types of knowledge, okay? So on one hand, we have knowledge we have without needing any experience. For example, mathematical truths, 2 plus 2 equals 4. And then we have knowledge we get from our experiences, like learning that the sky is blue, right? The sky is blue. He also introduced the ideas of things as they appear to us and things as they are in themselves. And he believed that while we can know things as they appear to us, knowing things as they are in themselves is beyond our understanding. Or as he says, we can never have certain knowledge of things as they are in themselves. Right. So that was the nature of knowledge, according to Immanuel Kant. Uh, the next topic I want to aim for or target is ethics and morality. And Kant's ethical theory is one of his most important, one of his most famous contributions. And he believed that morality is based on reason and that moral principles are universal. And in his work, which is called The Groundwork, for the metaphysics of morals, Kant introduced the idea of the categorical imperative. And this is a rule that helps guide moral behavior. Uh, the most well-known version of this rule is, and this is a direct quote from him, act only according to that maxim whereby you can, at the same time, will that it should become a universal law, end quote. And what this means is that before doing something you should consider whether you would want everyone else to do the same thing in a similar situation and if the answer is no then the action is not moral for example um, if you think about lying you should ask if it would be acceptable for everyone to lie since a world where everyone lies would be chaotic and untrustworthy lying is considered immoral by this rule okay so that was ethics and morality summed up quite nicely uh, the next thing i want to talk about is autonomy and respect okay and kant believed that all individuals have an intrinsic worth and that they should be treated with respect okay and he emphasized the importance of autonomy which means that individuals should be free to make their own choices. And according to Kant, respecting someone's autonomy is recognizing their capacity to govern themselves through reason. And he expressed this in his second version of the categorical imperative. Uh, it's a direct quote again. Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of another, always at the same time as an end and never merely as a means uh, end quote okay now moving on to the role of duty another idea of immanuel kant and kant argued that um, moral actions are those performed out of duty 
rather than inclination or desire. And he believed that doing the right thing for the right reason, even if it is difficult or goes against uh, one's own interests, is what makes an action truly moral. And for Kant, it is the intention behind the action, not the outcome, that determines its morals, moral value. Uh, and as he wrote, again, as he quoted, duty is the necessity to act out of reverence for the law, end quote. Let me just take a quick sip of my tea. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, I love it. Okay, and then moving on, let's talk about the final idea, which is the Enlightenment. Okay, because he was an he Kant was a, um, a very very important figure in the Enlightenment. Okay, and that was a period that emphasized reason, science, and individu individualism. Okay, and in his essay which was called What is Enlightenment? Kant famously defined enlightenment as uh, another direct quote, man's emergence from his self-imposed immaturity, end quote. He encouraged people to think for themselves and to use reason as a guide. And he believed that enlightenment could be achieved through education and the freedom to use one's intellectual okay or as he would say dare to know uh, which then became the motto of the enlightenment capturing Kant's call for intellectual independence okay so I hope you understand Kant much better now and if you can't then you should go on and watch more videos read some of his essays go to reddit uh, see the uh, see summaries of his essays to better understand him because no I am not able to totally summarize all of his ideas okay and if I said I did summarize all his ideas that would be really really disrespectful uh, to Immanuel Kant to all the philosophers out there because people spend years and years trying to understand philosophers and they even write huge huge books and they still haven't understood all of their ideas so all I have done is I've give you a basis a foundation to understand the guy and I'm hoping that you guys go out and do your own research all right but Immanuel Kant's philosophy of course it offers very profound insights into knowledge morality and human dignity respect okay and his ideas about how we perceive the world the importance of reason ethics and the respect for individual autonomy have of course had a very lasting impact on philosophy and society.